Ambulance service to patient breathing. I can I get an ambulance, please? Is the patient breathing? Um, struggling. Okay, is the patient awake? Yes. All right, just tell me exactly what's happened. Um, she's finding it difficult to breathe. All right, are you with her at the moment? Yeah. Just going to ask a few questions, but they're not delaying the help. How old is she? Uh, <laughs> Mum, how old are you? 50? 56. 56. Okay. Is that her in the background speaking to you there? Yeah. Okay. All right. Does she have difficulty speaking between breaths? Yeah. Okay. Does she have any flu-like symptoms as well? Uh, do you have any flu-like symptoms? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And is she completely alert? Yeah. Okay. I'm organising help for you now. Just stay on the line and I'll tell you exactly what to do next, okay? So we will get an ambulance out to you as soon as possible or as soon as we have an ambulance available. Okay. Um, we are very busy this morning, yep. but we will be there with you as quick as we can, all right? Ah, ambulance is it? I, uh, um, She's breathing. She's struggling now. Okay. Is I have called an ambulance. Ah. Is the patient awake? Ah. Yeah. Okay, tell me exactly what ah. Sorry, say that again. Tell me exactly what happened. Um, she's struggling to breathe. Okay. <laughs> she's not dying. She's just. I think uh, she's okay. Uh, 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 I'm organising help for you now. So stay on the line, and I'll tell you exactly what to do now. Okay. Hurry up! Okay, we're very busy, and we aim to be with you as soon as possible, or as okay. soon as we have an ambulance available. Currently, it's likely it could be over an hour and a half, but that's from your first call. Right. Okay. Is there anything okay. I can do in the meantime? In the meantime, yeah, just keep re just keep reassuring her, okay? Ambulance service. Is the patient breathing? Uh, kind of, yeah. I've already logged the call. Is the patient awake? Yeah. Okay. All right. So you've already called for an ambulance, is that right? Yeah. Okay. Patient's mouth got is what? going all white. Sorry? Patient's mouth's going all white. She's probably going to die. Okay. Stay on the with me, okay? Just tell me exactly what's happened. Sorry, say that again. Tell me exactly what's happened. Um, she's struggling to breathe. Okay. Thank you. Just getting this all updated, okay. Look, so, I can't see that some help has been arranged. You are just extremely busy, okay? You need to... You need no, to calm down. Keep keep reassuring her, okay? She, she, they're coming, they're on the way, they're here, they'll be here in a couple of minutes. Tell her to concentrate on her breathing instead of shouting, okay? Oh, yeah, right, just concentrate on your breathing. I told you, deep breath. Oh, deep breath, you can't. Stop thinking about oh, it. You need to re-triage her, okay? Yeah. Alright, just stay on the line. Keep breathing. Do this, alright. You can do it. Do it, relax. Nation breathing? No. Right, so I don't exactly know that she's right, lost me, a lot of breath. Alright, so tell me exactly what's happened. She's not been able to breathe for the past uh, hour. Okay. She's been struggling. Are you with her right now? Yeah. How old is she? 56. Alright, okay. So I've put all that further information in. Alright. Yeah. Uh, I do need to hang up now that's taken another call. Help is there any way that I can help her breathe in the meantime? Uh, no, uh, we just say watch her and uh, look for any changes, okay? Okay, all right, thank all you. Right, okay, uh, if she gets, if she becomes less awake and vomits, quickly lay her on her side, and if she gets worse in any way, just call us back immediately for further instructions. In January 2022, 56-year-old Bina Patel screamed, I'm going to die, while she waited an hour for an ambulance. Her son, 28-year-old Akshay Patel, called triple nine six times that day. Akshay shared a home with his mother in Ashton under Lynn, Lancashire. He said he realized she was unwell when she shouted for him at 2.15 a.m. The 28-year-old could tell Bina was having difficulty breathing. Eventually, it was too late. Ambulance service is patient breathing. No! Is the patient breathing? No! Okay, tell me exactly what happened. I rang an hour ago for an ambulance and she was difficultly breathing. Now she's, now she's dead. She's dead. My mum's dead. Thank you for the ambulance. Appreciate it. Right, yeah, okay. Just stay on the line, okay. Akshay said he couldn't tell his mother about the incredibly long wait times. He tried to take her to the hospital himself, but Bina couldn't stand up or get downstairs. 
The panicked son could only stop his mother from falling over again. He said, The only way I can describe it is, imagine someone holding you underwater. There's not much you can do. Following later investigations, the 28-year-old doesn't believe that his first five calls were taken seriously by call handlers. It seemed as if it was only after the sixth call that an ambulance was dispatched, arriving five minutes later. When paramedics finally arrived at 3.27 a.m., almost an hour after Akshay's initial call, they tried to revive Bina, but their attempts sadly failed. She had first suffered from a blockage in her heart, which caused a stroke and then a heart attack. A horrific series of events that her son had to watch heart-wrenchingly. Akshay told the media he would hold those responsible for his mother's death accountable, but the outcome is unknown. So you mean to tell me he had to call the 911 operator numerous amount of times and watch his mother slowly die? Now, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what they was on or what they was doing. I just know that was not right at all. And it's real sad to see and to hear what he had to go through and i hope nobody else out there have to deal with something like this uh, they law definitely is messed up and you have to, to watch her suffer and see this go on for over an hour i think the officials should definitely be held accountable for something like this this story about a popular teen tiktoker is heartbreaking this is 16 year old brianna gay on TikTok, she had thousands of followers subscribed to her lip syncing and dance videos. But after posting one last video on Saturday, tragedy struck. That afternoon, police say they were called to a park where they found Brianna's body along a path. Her body had multiple stab wounds and she was pronounced dead at the scene. Brianna was transgender. Police have said this was a targeted attack. They're now considering whether this was a possible hate crime. This all went down in the UK, and trans activists there have pointed out that because of the country's gender recognition laws, she may not be buried as her true self with a correct death certificate. Police say two 15-year-olds, one boy and one girl have been arrested on suspicion of murder. Brianna's death is still being investigated. Man, that's sad, man. Rest in peace to this beautiful soul. For the simple fact, man, we live in a world where everything is changing. You know what I'm saying? Like, the one most high is the one who decide who we are, who we should be. You know what I'm saying? And then people think that, oh, well, if you was born this way, this is how it's supposed to be. If I feel like I want to be light-skinned, I'm going to find out a way to make me feel better. That's just like when people go to them tanning salons to be darker, you know. And God made this person the way they made this person. So they felt the way they felt. I mean, whoever this individual is, the outside doesn't mean nothing. It's all about the inside that counts. And that's sad that people think they can dictate on what other folks should be and how they should live their life. Rest in peace.